We are in Adobe Premiere Pro, and today I will be showing you, how to create this clean cinematic title animation. So, let's get started. Click on the text tool. Type a text line, in your program monitor. Drag this text beginning of your timeline. Let's increase the length a little bit, I'm using 6 seconds. Open Essential Graphics panel, for customization the text line. Then click on Edit. Select all of the text. Here I'm using Montserrat Bold Font. Font Size 70. Font Tracking 300. Then let's make it center, by using a line. Move the Time Indicator first frame on the timeline. Then go to Effect Controls panel. Select Opacity. And make it 0%. Now move around 2 second. Then change the opacity 100%. Again go to the 4 seconds. Make a keyframe here. Then go to the 6 seconds, and change the opacity 0%. Let's a quick preview. It looks nice fade effect. Now select all of keyframes. And right click, then select Auto Bezier and that's going to soften our animation. Now go to the effects panel, and search here Gaussian Blur. Then apply it on the text layer. Move to first frame on the timeline, again go to the effect controls panel, and make the Gaussian Blurriness 50%. Then click on the stopwatch icon, for creating a keyframe. Now go to the 2 seconds, and change the blurriness 0%. Again go to the 4 seconds, and make a keyframe here. Now go to 6 seconds, and set the blurriness 50%. So now, this fade in and fade out effects really clean in my opinion. Again go to the first frame, and make a keyframe on scale. Now move to 6 seconds and make the scale size 110%. Now it's going to zoom in very slowly, and going to look very cinematic. Okay, now let's make it duplicate, hold on ALT button, then drag it one track above. Select move tool, and move down the text a little bit. Now select the text tool, and change the second text line. Go to the Essential Graphics panel, and this time I'm using Montserrat Light Font. Font Size 50. And Font Tracking 200. And horizontally center the text. Let's move up the text a little bit. Let's preview this. It looks so pretty. Move the second text layer, couple of frames, so it come in later a little bit. And that's it for this tutorial, I'll see you in the next one, have a good day.